new report says one quarter of the homes in the U.S. are likely to be vacated as the baby boomer generation grows older. Here's the problem. No one wants to move into them. Joining me now is Rogers Healy and Associates owner and CEO Rogers Healy. Rogers, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Okay, boomer, we don't want to buy your home. That's a major problem. Yeah, okay, okay, boomer. I mean, they do want to buy their home. And, and everyone talks about millennials and baby boomers, but they forget about my generation. I'm a Gen Xer. So, do you want yeah, the baby boomers home? Yeah, heck yeah. I always okay. want something bigger and better. I think that's the American dream, obviously, is real estate, owning a home, white picket fence. But really, the American dream is trying to have a house bigger than your neighbor. So, <laughs> I, I think that there's going to be some competition between guys and gals my age trying to get houses their parents' sizes. So yeah, I think that we're gonna be okay as long as people qualify, save their money, and actually have ambition to go and do something bigger and better. Because I do think that's the real American dream. Okay, so as a Gen Xer, and I'm a Gen Xer as well, do you wanna live in the boomers' homes that are usually further away from the big city, don't have all the amenities of, of a town, for instance? Is that where you wanna live? Yeah, well, I, I think that I, I've kind of preached this for a few years. Real estate used to always be about location. And mm. I think that the last few years we've seen really the rule shift to affordability. So I think that there's going to be an influx of buyers in that Gen X, you know, region that want to be in the bigger homes, which means they might be on the outskirts in places that, you know, our parents are living in. Because right now I think there's like 10,000 baby boomers retiring each day, which means there's probably 5,000 putting their houses on the market. So. Yeah, it, it'll be an interesting shift, but I think that it all all trends point to us having a stable market with the baby boomers trying to sell their properties. Where do millennials want to live? Well, I think right now they want to live probably outside of their parents' house because a lot of them live in there because they didn't save their money to, to go buy. But, yeah, we, we've seen a recent push over the past six to eight months with millennials actually going and purchasing, really not in the urban core, but right on the second or third layer outside of it just because that's the most affordable. So urban core for rentals, but outside the urban core when it comes to purchasing their first property. Are there enough starter homes or whatever you'd like to call them for, for millennials on the market in terms of supply? Yeah, I mean, I, I think what we define in the real estate world, whether it's in Dallas or anywhere across the, the country, a starter home is probably under $220,000 at this point. So we've seen it happen and, and builders have actually started purchasing land again, which is great, but it's yeah. not in the neighborhoods that historically we would have seen these starter homes go and be developed for a millennial, even a Gen Xer. So it's really 20 to 30 minutes outside of a downtown, an urban core, et cetera. But, yeah. you know, Dallas is a very stable market. Places like Atlanta, Charlotte, Oklahoma City, we're, we're all okay. But the places where it's always been kind of roller coaster, Vegas, Miami, Chicago, you've seen a little bit of a mix up as to where these builders are going and building, like, quote unquote startup properties. Roger Tilly, thanks for coming on and, and, and proving that, yeah, we want to live in a bigger home than our friends and neighbors. Thank you yeah, very much. No. <laughs> and the Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy hey, Thanksgiving. Go big or go home if you're talking about <laughs> Texas, Lord. Absolutely. Go big and go home. How about that? <laughs> go Come count. back anytime, Rogers. <laughs>